And now let's welcome our next band. They're from Foxborough, Massachusetts. Please welcome the Foxborough High School Jazz Ensemble. much. A solid old man, Connor Hoyt on clarinet, Geneva Rand on trombone. We are the Foxborough High School Jazz Ensemble. We are profoundly honored to be here. We would like to thank Duke Ellington for enriching our culture through the soulful spirit of his music. And we would like to thank our mentors that helped make our journey here today possible. Mr. Jerome Jennings, Mr. James Chirillo, Miss Antoinette Henry, and Mr. Stephen C. Massey. We do love you madly. We're going to continue with Afro Bossa, featuring Joe Spignardi on tenor saxophone, Connor Hoyt on alto saxophone, and Michael Garansky on trumpet, and we'll be closing with Brazilians from the Latin American suite. 
featuring Michael Hussey on tenor, Connor Hoyt on soprano, and Corey Hall on drum set. Foxborough High School Jazz Ensemble.
And we're here with director Aaron Bush from Foxboro High School. Second band up here in the uh, second part of our competition here at 24th Annual Central Ellington Jazz at Lincoln Center. Aaron, how are you feeling about that performance? Beautiful, man. It was swinging and soulful. So, and you mentioned in your thank yous thanking Steve Massey. How long have you been at, at Foxboro? Uh, this is my second year at Foxboro. Your second year. Yep. But and, I, uh, I did my student teaching with Steve. And okay. He's like a father to me, and I love him awesome. dearly. That's so. awesome. Talk a little bit about, you know, the legacy uh, of the Foxborough Band in this particular competition and, and how you've built upon that legacy? Uh, well, essentially, Ellington has always been uh, so important to us in Foxborough. It, it represents a way for us to express ourselves and share our souls and play this amazing music. Um, and we hope to continue that in the future. And it's my responsibility to give them the highest quality music and the best level of instruction I can. Mm -hmm. And we have a fantastic model in, awesome. in the, uh, the history of our program. Talk about your programming a little bit. You did uh, Afro Bosa, which is pretty rare. We've never heard it as a competition. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Um, talk about that piece in particular and how you program for that and why. Uh, well, that piece re uh, represented a way for our brass players to grow and to evolve. Um, and it was part of our curriculum and it, um, it gave them a chance to develop their range, to develop mm -hmm. their sensitivity um, and they sound soulful on it yeah. and they can swing on it and they love it too. <laughs> so the other thing we want to ask you about, um, you're giving Chris Dorsey a run for his money in terms of dance moves <laughs> as a director. Come on, and, <laughs> Brutal. No, we give out a, a best see. dancer award, yeah. so you know there's a lot of discussion amongst the judges. Okay. You know, Aaron Bush must have worked those steps out in advance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. It's no, it's just I, uh, I have to take a lot of attention away from this, uh, so I, I dance to make up for it. It's awesome. Let's get uh, one of your players yeah, in here. Man. Come over this way. Give him the microphone. And, and what is your name? And what year in school? Uh, my name is Connor Hoyt. I'm a senior. Okay. And you played clarinet, soprano, and alto today. Yep, all three. I noticed that. Uh, you know, your, your clarinet playing, your soprano playing, your alto playing, were all kind of different. You mm -hmm. know, you had uh, a pretty serious kind of Jimmy Hamilton thing going on mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, with the clarinet, and the soprano sounded completely different. Yeah. Talk about, you know, playing three different instruments in a competition like this. It's not easy, right? Well, no, it's not easy, obviously. Although I'm not playing brass, there is still a slight change in the embouchure. Um, but in Foxborough, um, Mr. Massey and now Mr. Bush, they, they really do stress the importance of, of doubling and, and having those doubling chops. Um, so I, I play the clarinet in the concert band. I, I'm really able to switch uh, between the two. Okay. Fluently, and that's okay. What's... So were you here three years ago when you were a sophomore? Mm, uh -huh. I was here as a sophomore, and then the year before that as a yeah, freshman. Yeah, as, well. as a freshman. And, and how does this experience compare now as a senior versus when you were younger? Well, I mean, I have a completely new perspective on on all types of music, jazz, and, and on life in general. Um, it's it's different, but it's it's still just as amazing, and it's yeah. honestly a life changing experience every time I come. What are you doing next year? Um, next year, I'm going to be attending the University of Michigan for Jazz Studies and Physics. University of Michigan. Yeah. You're heading out to the Midwest. Yep. And uh, you said Jazz Studies and Physics. Yep, both, yeah. You Nothing wrong. Too. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. No. Congratulations. Thank you. You sounded wonderful. Thanks Enjoy so the much. rest of your day. Congratulations, Aaron. And uh, we'll talk about that dance award later. So <laughs> <There> <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks, yep. All right. Here we are at the House of Swing, Jazz Lincoln Center, New York. 